Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout for All. I know it's been a very, very long time. Months, in fact. Too long, in fact. And I apologise. I do have a plan, though, to be able to upload more regularly. You see, the way I used to record it was I would record it for about half an hour or so, then edit it, upload it, and then do the same the next week, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, this takes up a lot of my time, and I'm getting less and less time as of late to be able to do these videos, or any videos at all. So I've gone back to the method that I use for most of my recordings, which is to record, say, one large chunk, say, for, for an hour, but in 10-minute episodes, or 10-15 minute episodes. It's a lot easier for me to edit that way and it helps me save time and it also means you should be getting more regular episodes. So the episodes are going to be shorter, but there's going to be more of them. I hope that's alright with everyone, it seems to just be the best compromise I can come up with. But anyway, what happened in the last episode? I don't entirely remember. Like I said, it's been months. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we talked to Jack. I still hate him, obviously. Uh, and he had a bunch of locks for me to unlock, which I couldn't at the time because he left, I think. Uh, we also had a word with Judy. I forget what exactly about, but uh, I'm sure it was helpful and probably heart-wrenching to see her in jail because it's Judy Hopps. She's adorable and sweet and lovely. I probably shouldn't call her adorable in case she kicks me in the face. But she's wonderful and I don't want to see her in jail. So I think we're just moving on to somewhere else now. We're going to start by going to the apartment. There's nothing new here then. Uh, ZPDHQ? No. Savannah Central? No. Abandoned Station, perhaps? No. Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now, or what I'm supposed to do. Perhaps there was something I was going to talk to Judy about? The argument? So, what was it you had to ask me? So, do you know how Doug Ramses died? Oh boy, I don't think she even knew she'd di he died. Okay, yes, this is what I was going to do in the la said I was going to do this episode in the last episode, isn't it? I've heard of it just now during questioning actually why do you want to know about that well I heard you argued with the victim shortly before or during his poisoning hmm. Judy you and the victim did argue didn't you oh Judy don't do this to me come on we're trying to help here oh Judy why I'm not sure what you're talking about, Phoenix. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. Judy, are you lying to me? N no <sighs> Seems I'll have to break them. Never expected to be them on her, of all people. Oh, me neither, to be honest. <sighs> oh, Judy... Mm, sorry. I always do that. I keep hitting the right-click button by mistake. Let's get this over with. Come on, Judy. Why? We're trying to help. The argument. Judy, you had an argument with the victim before his death. I don't know where you heard that, but it isn't true. Actually, I didn't hear anything. I saw it. Camera footage, obviously. You can clearly be seen arguing in this security footage. Security footage? Oh, come on, Judy, surely you know they have cameras in there. I can show you it if you want. That won't be necessary. Why is there another one? But who cares if we were? It's not like it's a crime to argue. Let's just drop it, alright? Sorry, Judy. Jack Savage isn't going to drop it, so neither can I. Since he thinks you use this, that would be the poison that killed Doug Ramses, the Atofen bottle, 
to- Atofin? Atofin. Atofafin. That's that's just weird. No. <laughs> he believes you poison Doug Ramses with this poison. How many times can I say poison? Did you boy buy this from the poison shop? Hmm? Did you? Did you also pick up a battering spade? For battering a person? I don't know if you've seen that sketch, but it is all those sketches, but they are hilarious, and I will leave a link in the top right hand corner of the video. I will possibly also leave one in the description. I'm pretty sure the eye works on phones as well, doesn't it? So even if you're watching on there, it should be fine. Either way, it will be somewhere. Hopefully. Judy, just tell me what the argument was about. We still don't think you did it, but we need the facts. I thought if you'd knew, you'd no longer trust me. Judy, of course we trust you. <sighs> Unlock successful. Excellent. You were scared we wouldn't trust you? Carrots, I love you, but you really are a dumb bunny sometimes. Yeah, I guess I am. Maybe now we can get something out of her. So, what did happen? So what was the argument about? Oh, the Night Howler case. He wasn't pleased to see me. So you didn't poison his water? No, never touched it. Yeah, I figured as much. But... I did find that bottle in my cell when I returned. I didn't think much of it at first since it was empty and without a label. Later on they searched my cell and took the bottle and... Well... Yeah. They found traces of the poison. In a nutshell, yes. And that's all? Yes, that's all there is to it. We argued about the Night Howler case. When I returned, the bottle was there. I didn't th think much of it, as it was empty and without a label. Judy's testimony added to the court record. Although, it's not exactly a watertight testimony. Uh, the bottle was definitely planted in there, but by who? Hmm, I wonder who could possibly have the motive and means to have planted such a bottle. Who could possibly have allowed these two people to be in the same room together alone when they're both suspects in such an important case? Who could possibly be so devious and maybe short-sighted? No, I don't think they were short-sighted. They were definitely devious. Definitely devious. I wonder who it could possibly be. Have I been any more obvious? Do I need to be more obvious about who I think it is? Do I at all? The real killer, I would imagine. Hmm, yes. Me too, Chip Phoenix. Me too. <sighs> Could it be the real mastermind? Hang on, I'm just going to replace this little picture here with the correct picture. There we go. There he is. There we go. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else we can talk to Judy about here, so I suppose we move on. Nothing new at the apartment. Nothing new at ZBDHQ. Savannah Central, August 30th, 4.25pm. So, recapping. Ramses was murdered. Judy is being accused of that too. We have camera footage, and we've seen the bottle the poison was kept in. And somehow you have to prove Judy's side of the story in court. It's going to be an uphill battle. As always. Still, what I don't get is how that bottle even made it into the detention centre. How did nobody discover it before the murder? I may be able to provide some insight there. Oh, it's Moosebridge. But if I forget his voice, every time I forget the voice, ah, there's so many of them and there's so much time between them. Okay, uh, 
Bueno, sé qué pasa. Fue más allá eso. ¿Vas a eso? Bueno, bueno, eso está. Eso es bueno, pero no sé dónde vas a dejar por ahí. Mr. Moosebridge. I have been looking for you after reviewing some information. I have thought... I have... I thought some may be of use. If you want it, that is. We'll take any leads we can get. Yes, I thought you might. By now, everyone and their aunt knows about the poisoning. As for how it gets there, I may, it may be related to another story we've been covering as of late. Another story? I better hear him out. Hopefully this information helps us in some way. Yes, let's hope so. But we'll find out for sure in the next episode. And I'll see you all then. Goodbye, good night, and good luck.